I don't even remember ever came out. This is Stellara. Wow. Well, guys, since I'm here, I might as well take a look at Sektar's Stellara. This is a figure I don't even remember. I'm not even sure she ever came out in the original Sektar's line. But she looks freaking amazing. Oh, my God. Now, I do have some comments about the packaging. This thing's bigger than my head. I mean, what the heck? And look, I love Nacelle, I really do. But was this packaging really necessary? I mean, look at all of that. <laughs> Other companies are trying to save on, you know, paper and uh, plastic packaging. I guess Nacelle's like, screw it. We want a good looking card. We want really cool looking packaging. We want the nostalgia from the 80s. Let's just do it. And you know what? I can't blame them, but this thing's huge. Anybody who's an inbox collector, Make some room on your shelf because this, this is going to take up quite a bit. I will have a link in the description below where you can pick up Stellara on TitanToys.com. Without further ado, guys, let's take a look at the Sectars Stellara, courtesy of TitanToys.com. All right, well, let's have a t let's take a look at the Sectars Stellara. This is crazy, guys. Oh my gosh, this this card it doesn't even fit in the frame. I mean, this thing is so big and. It <laughs> It won't stand up either, because again, the way the way the card is 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 made, they didn't put a notch down here. So yeah, Nacelle, I got a couple of uh, <laughs> I got a, a, a couple of comments for you. First of all, the the card is absolutely massive. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's like comically large. And to 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 a degree, I understand what they were doing here. I mean, it really does sort of harken back to the original version of Sectars. I mean, I I do love the overall look, the overall design. But because of it, it is rather, and I'm just going to keep saying it, comically large. Um, yeah, collectors are going to have a hard time putting this into their collection because if you're an inbox collector, you know, where are you going to, what you normally do is you put them on the shelf and they kind of like stand up. But because they don't have the notch, which is an innovation, of course, that was, you know, made years ago, uh, they kind of like just, you know, they, they do that. Like that's... That's actually what they do. I, I'm, you know, and that's not a, that's not a big slight against uh, Nacelle. I'm just, I'm just saying that it is something to, to consider for the next wave of figures because a lot of people like to just let, prop them up so they can see them on their shelf, and that little innovation might help, you know, with, yeah, you know, I'm just saying it might actually help along the way. But you know, I digress. Uh, we can see here the Stellara comes with a few accessories: a blaster, a shield. Uh, for the Warriors of Sim Symbion, of course, we have the Shining Realm. We have the dagger, and of course, we have Stellara herself. She looks amazing. Um, I love the backing card. I really do. Again, it's comically large. Um, we have Nacelle up here at the top. We have Sectars, the Warrior of Symbion, 14+. plus. Stellara, Symbion's toughest warrior. And, of course, we can see the background back there. We can see the entire land of Symbion itself. Just beautiful. On the reverse, we do see Sectars at the top. I love that logo. It was always one of those great pieces of graphic design from back in the day. We have Stellara. And we can see her there. And we see the backstory for Stellara. You can read that at your leisure. Wonderful little backstory here. All the accessories she comes with. The dagger, the shield of skull, the double-barreled Vengen, and of course, the two figures who are currently available in the series and proof of purchase two points if you really want to <laughs> i don't know if you can send that in for some sort of prize i don't know if that's actually in the case but it is a fun little detail they sell there's the barcode if you uh, if you guys are interested at all and of course collect all of the incredible sectar warriors a little bit of the legal information there and again just a comically large backing card but it is beautiful i do have to say all right guys well without further ado let's uh let's cut let's cut into this and see what stellar is all about I mean, <laughs> seriously, um, I, <laughs> this thing's absolutely massive. It is literally bigger than my head. I mean, like, I could hide behind this thing. Uh, mind you, you can hide behind most backing cards, but still, this thing is this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, like, honestly. I do love the, the, the throwback, you know what I mean? Sectars was one of my favorite properties when I was growing up. It really was a lot of fun. And I, I had a few figures, um, you know, I had Dargon, I had... 
uh, the guy with the bug, which was kind of like a, a dog. Uh, I can't remember any of their names, you know, to save my life right now. But seriously, it, it is a fun line. It's just, did we really need this much packaging? <laughs> I mean, so many other companies, Mattel and Hasbro, are cutting back on plastic packaging and, you know, trying to save on, on, on you know, packaging in general. But, man, they sell. They're doing it different. They're doing it different. The only, the only gripe I really have is right here. They need that notch. That notch needs to be there so that people can, who collect this stuff can stand them up on their shelves. I think that's the biggest gripe I have. Other than that... It looks amazing. Yeah, let's crack her up and see how she looks. All right, after all that, if you did it right, you should have been able to preserve the card. So we'll just take her from the bottom, slip her out. And, yeah, as far as anything else is concerned, it's really none the worse for wear. Looks actually pretty good. Not bad. Unlike when we were kids and we just ripped this thing apart. We can actually keep this thing. Sweet. That was a lot less painful than I expected. It had that little twist tie in the back, but for the most part, Nacelle has the, you know, good sense to not tie this up with like a million different little ties which you have to cut apart. That to me is a good piece of packaging design. Bravo, Nacelle, bravo. She looks awesome too. Let's have a look. This is Stellara and wow. Honestly, she really does harken back to the days of the 80s where the sculpts were really well done especially with this particular line she has that wonderful sculpt in the face you know they are insect beings right that's the big thing about them they actually have insect like features she obviously has a multi-segmented eye be hundreds of eyes and honestly her sculpt she's very very humanoid but she has those two antennae in the front and Again, she's a female version of the Sectors. Really great stuff. Her armor is actually multicolored, and I really do love the way that looks. The characters originally, when they were, uh, you know, uh, conceived, they they had this again pattern that only only insects really have, right? Uh, if you look at like uh, a Hercules beetle or maybe um, some sort of grasshoppers or certain creatures, they have this wonderfully colored, you know, bright blues with silvers, and sometimes they have like purples mixed in there and this really reflects that idea that these are insect-like creatures uh beings if you will they are humanoid of course in nature but they do have again those insect like th those insect like features her hands are very simple there's very little uh detail in these very much like i suppose master universe characters in, in terms of their overall grip style the wrists actually have um are uh articulation in the wrists they do move around 360 degrees on both sides which is good i don't actually remember i do not believe though that the original figures had that type of articulation the elbows are very simple uh they do not really have that much articulation just straight 90 degrees which is fine that's all they really need and there's even an elbow an uh, elbow rotation actually there's not i thought there would have been no that's pretty much it there is no there is no wrist articulation on that on that end the arms move about this much up, and I believe they do actually rotate 360 degrees. They do. She does have a little bit of restriction here with the armor piece. That much is uh, to be expected. So obviously when she starts rotating, that's about as much as you can get. She can't really get, you know, a full 90 on that angle there. The legs can kick about this far up, and if you really want... It's not really a, it's more of a side kick. It's not really a, a front to kick. But yeah, if you can get about that that much for, that much forward. And again, if you look at from here, it's kind of like that. If you want to kick all the way back, it looks about that much. Again, it's more of a side kick than anything else. But you can move it pretty far back. 
well, pretty much to the side anyway. It's more of a ball joint than anything else. It's not really a, eh, yeah, it is more, more, of, more of a secondary ball joint. And of course she can kick about that far. She can literally do a scissor kick or the um, spinning Tai Chi, spinning bird kick, actually spinning bird kick. You're gonna love it. The knee articulation is pretty good. I believe it is a double knee. Yes, it is. That's interesting that they should go with a double knee here, but not add the double, the, the double elbow uh, articulation. Very, very interesting on, in, in that uh, in that regard. I love the detailing in the legs as well. They've got that grasshopper like appendage for the for the um, uh, the little uh, barbs at the end here. Very cool. Um, I do believe it does have a bit of ankle tilt. Not much, not much actual tilt, but it does move side to side a little bit. So the, you know, it's not the best articulation, but in terms of its overall classic look, it really does harken back to that original version of Sectars. I love the back. The, I love the detailing on the back. Looks great. She's got that wonderful harness that she wears across her chest and, of course, across her waist. Looks really cool. The symbol of the shining realm right here seems to be a bit. Is that a? Not sure what that is. I think it's just a little bit of flash that was left over. Gonna, I'm gonna have to clean that up later. And she has two holsters, one for her gun and one for her sword, uh, dagger, sorry, one for the dagger and one for her blaster. And I think you might be able to hoist or holster her, her, her shield there as well. Very, very cool. Honestly, I do have to say, it's interesting that the, the decisions they made with this character. She doesn't have any additional articulation on the elbow. It can only go about 90 degrees, but the legs, it's, a, it's literally a full, you know, double articulated knee. Like that's very strange in terms of, in, in terms of that over deci or overall decision. I love the colors on this character, really great. And of course, just harkens back to that day when Sectars ruled the television and Toy Isles. Starlara comes with several accessories, including her shield. And if we look at the back of the box, this is the Shield of Skull. Didn't know they actually had names for their, for their weapons. That's kind of cool. The symbol of the Shining Realm right on the front. She comes with a double-barreled Ven gun. It's kind of like a double-barreled shotgun. Now, it said double-barreled, but <laughs> it looks like one barrel to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. But I guess it's because of the actual sculpt itself. Beautiful sculpting, by the way. It does have that insect-like motif. I love that, that that design aspect of it. And of course, she comes with her dagger, kind of a little bit of a stinging aspect of it to the uh, to the insects. Beautiful. As far as play features go, of course, you can affix any of the accessories into her hands. The dagger fits in very nicely, as you can see there. The double-barreled van gun also affixes quite, ni quite nicely, we can see there. And of course, if you needed to, you could put the shield in there, but we could also put it on her back like so. She is quite the character and she is the best warrior in the Shiny Realm. The holsters themselves also can be utilized to their fullest. If we put the shield in her right hand, we can put the rest of her accessories, the gun itself, we'll put in the back, and the dagger we can put on the side here. And she's all geared up to defend the Shining Realm. I gotta tell you guys, this is hitting me in the nostalgia buttons everywhere. Like seriously, all my nostalgia spots have been hit. I used to have a ton of these guys. Well, I guess a ton is, is not exactly accurate. I had some of the finger puppets. I had the, um, uh, one of the, one of the main guardsmen who had like a guard dog. He was really cool. And of course I had Dar uh, Dargon. He was one of my main characters. Of course I had the one, the version of Dargon with the little, uh, dragonfly on the back, which you could use to actually fly across the shiny realm. It was a lot of fun. And of course this character, uh, fun fact, never got produced. Uh, as far as I can remember. Somebody can correct me in the comment section below, of course. But yes, I do believe that uh, Stellara was never actually produced in the line. Having her now and having the option to actually get her into the collection is an amazing opportunity for any collector of Sectars. Well, guys, that is my review of Stellara from Sectars. 
as I said, this character was never available as a character in the original line, so it's amazing that we're actually getting her in 2024. There are a couple of gripes I have. Of course, a uh, very interesting uh, decision to have double double jointed knees, but not but only a 90 degree elbow. The impact on the shoulder pauldrons, I mean, that's a really big problem. She cannot, you know, go straight up. Um, which in a lot of ways doesn't matter. Uh, you know, she doesn't really fly, um, as far as I can remember. So there's really no reason to actually have her doing a flying pose. Um, I, there is no, I, I forgot to mention this. There actually is no neck articulation whatsoever. I think you can actually rotate her head at the, at the base of the neck, but that's it. So in terms of like the overall, uh, you know, limb articulation, it's, yeah, it's it's a very much an older type of figure. As I said earlier, she can't really she can kick straight to a certain degree, but if you want to click any higher, she's going to go, you know, on the kind of like diagonal type of of, of kick. Same thing with uh, kicking behind her. A lot of the interesting choices for this, and of course, the packaging design. If you are in a box collector, is a bit of a you know a drawback. Other than that, though, she's an incredible character, and I'm really happy with the overall execution of this. Guys, that was my review of Stellara from Sectars, Symbian's greatest warrior. I have to say, this one hits all the nostalgia buttons for me. Honestly, I used to have a couple of these as a kid. I love the finger puppets, they were so much fun. And Dargon's, I guess it was a firefly or a dragonfly uh, attachment was just so much fun as a kid. I really did love these guys. If you guys are interested in picking these up, I will have a link in the description below at Titan Toys. And I want to give another huge shout out to Titan Toys for allowing me to review this figure. It really is a wonderful figure to hold and to own in 2024. Guys, I will have links in the description below where you can pick this up on titantoys.com. It's my understanding that all prices on titantoys.com are inclusive of tax. And if you spend $250 or more, you can actually get free shipping within Canada and the United States. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> the Warriors of Symbian! The greatest ever. Good journey, everybody. Geek proud.